Welcome to iPodRepairSquad.com. Today we are going to show you how to replace the headphone jack in the iPod video. Um, we have the iPod open here. If you uh, if you need to know how to open the iPod, you can check out our other videos. But uh, for time's sake, we uh, already have it open here. So um, this is the part we're going to replace the headphone jack here. Um, there's four screws holding it in there. What, um, what we like to do first is actually take this part out so it'll make it more flexible to work with. Um, usually, um, we lift the hard drive up and there's a little latch here that holds this cable, um, attaches it to the board. We just lift it up and pull the cable out. Now, we don't need to be moving this around to get to the headphone jack. Now, this is pretty basic. It's got the headphone jack and the battery here. Um, we'll need to get the battery out to get to the headphone jack and it's really simple all you gotta do is use a screwdriver or whatever tool you can find that would um, work fine and just pull the battery out like this and we can just move this to the side now what's left in here is just the headphone jack and like I said there are four screws holding it in here one here one here and two on this piece Now we need to take it out. Just start with the screws. Now there's also some adhesive holding this in the back plate here, and we need to, you know, consider that so we won't rip the cables in case we need to use this headphone jack. Um, we just pop this up. There's a tape here that we need to be careful with not to rip the cable and then take this part out we just pop it out like that and there it is this is the headphone jack and the hold switch here now we're going to replace this piece with one that doesn't have the plastics on it it doesn't have uh, the tape, all of that, not this piece. See, this is the whole switch, basically, just the switch. Now, we'll need to take this piece off and, and put it on, on here, on the new uh, headphone jack. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece out. <clears throat> and there's a screw here that uh, we'll need to remove. This is the part that is visible on the outside of the case here. We'll need that. And we'll need this metal piece here. But this is part of the, uh, the hole switch. And we won't need this. So with a blade or, or even a screwdriver, you can just remove this piece here. so we can install a new one. And the switch here just goes back on. And screw the uh, thing tight and this is it now this little piece here if you notice the differences there's a little plastic piece here that kind of uh, makes it more more fixed onto the back plate in case you know somebody's too rough with the headphone jack this will make it harder to, to break the headphone jack so we'll put it on this one and there's also this uh, little plastic piece here that holds the cable closer to the headphone jack. We'll just put it on it. Okay, now um, we're going to install this onto the back plate. And it goes in the same way it came out. It's pretty simple. 
two screws hold this one in. This one just uh, pops in. Two screws hold it in there as well. And we can reuse this uh, tape here just to fix the, uh, the cable onto the back plate. Okay, and this is basically it.